Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Attention all Kerbal Space Program gamers, a new update just dropped and teased something new and possibly interesting on the MUN. If you recently watched the new KSP developer essay, you may have realized that in the end of the video, you witness a spacecraft crash into one of the MUN arches that people you normally find all over the MUN. These two events may have a link, but we don't know for sure. So, in today's mission, we will be going to the MUN and hopefully find this new secret that was added. But before we do anything, we need a plan. So, the plan is we send a satellite scanner to the MUN bearing 18 miniature lanterns. The satellite will scan the MUN for anomalies, which there are 8 of, says Google, and when every anomaly is located and marked, we send down a mini lantern to possibly find what we are looking for. So now, let's start. So, the first rocket will be unmanned, and its mission is to find and locate the new secret. To find the secret, we add a survey scanner on top of the computer, but we also need a couple lanterns, so I attached three right shear adapters, each one having six attachment slots. The lantern itself is a tiny engine, a small donut fuel tank, a computer, a small battery, and a 3x2 solar panel. Then, we just simply finish off the rocket by adding an engine to the satellite and two extra stages. Now, we are ready for launch. Ten, nine, ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes. Alright, now that we are in polar orbit of the MUN, we can start the scanning procedure. This might take some time. Well, we are finally done scanning the entire moon. There might be a couple left, but I think that's enough for now. Anyways, let's start sending down the landers. Well, that looks interesting. I've never seen this before. So yeah, that must be it. But oh no, the mission is far from over. Now we need to send Jebediah and Bob over to research this strange anomaly. But first, we need to build another rocket. This rocket is a simple manned MUN rocket. We just need to 
make a lantern with a science equipment because, I don't know, maybe we can do some experiments on the glowy thing. And then we just simply add two other stages and side boosters. And now we are ready for launch. All right, now that we are in orbit of the moon, we just need to get down to the anomaly. Finally, we have arrived, but sadly we don't get any special science results from this anomaly. But it sure does look cool. You guys remember that craft that crashed into one of those arches in the beginning of the video? Yeah, so my theory is that it blew a hole into the one it crashed, and under the regolith there are signs of past life on the mud. Maybe all of the arches have this under them, but we will never know for sure, I think. But this could mean there are aliens in Kerbal Space Run 2. Hopefully they respect science and exploration as much as our little Kerbals, and aren't super aggressive killing machines. But this is just speculating. I think Bob has gotten all of his data and Jeb has enjoyed the view. Let's go back home. Uh, guys, something weird is going on. The entire craft is shaking like crazy and the map does not show me any destination or path. I think that Anomaly did something to our ship. Bob is gonna go out and check if he can fix anything. Oh no. Bob? You okay? Wait a minute, you aren't Bob or Jebediah. Where the hell are 